Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. So I was out in Hawaii for a vacation not long ago and I was touring Kualoa Ranch, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically this giant ranch on uh, Oahu that they filmed a ton of movies and television shows. So that gave me an idea of why not do a top 10 list of my favorite movies filmed in Hawaii. This isn't specifically for Kualoa Ranch, but it's anywhere on the islands. And there may be something that I miss here on the list, so be sure to leave down a comment of whatever I don't mention here. Now at number 10 is a bit of a sentimental movie for me. I don't say that it's a good movie, but it's something that I loved whenever I was a kid, and that is Pirates of the Caribbean At World's End. At World's End was filmed partially in Hawaii, and it was the culmination of the original trilogy, I guess if you want to call it that, of the Pirates in the, of the Caribbean movies, excuse me. And it's the worst one of the three. Whenever I was a kid, I loved this movie, along with Dead Man's Chest and Curse of the Black Pearl. Now as an adult, I acknowledge that Curse of the Black Pearl is far and away the best Pirates movie. Uh, Dead Man's Chest, I think, is still not as bad as people say it is. I enjoy it as a movie. It has amazing visual effects, as does At World's End, but it's a noticeable step down from Curse of the Black Pearl. Uh, but then At World's End is the worst of the bunch. Uh, I, I still kind of enjoy that movie. Again, as an adult, I enjoy it a little bit less. Uh, but it's a nice memory of my childhood. They've made Pirates movies since then. I haven't watched either of them. Uh, I think it's On Stranger Tides and Dead Men Tell No Tales. I missed both of them. Uh, but yeah, At World's End is number 10 for me. And at number 9, I have Jumanji The Next Level, which is the sequel to 2017's Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. And this was filmed partially at Kualoa Ranch. And it was actually fun. I did a UTV tour there uh, where our tour guide mentioned that uh, they were actively doing tours while they were filming this movie, and so uh, they were literally given a red light, green light as to whenever they could roll through, whenever they weren't rolling cameras. And apparently Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart were like super nice to everybody, which I love as a fan of theirs, and it makes me love this movie even more. It's just a really fun action-adventure movie. Uh, unfortunately, they haven't gotten around to making a third Jumanji movie. From what I understand, it's really just because of scheduling, which makes sense. I mean, your four primary characters, or actors, Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan, and Jack Black, are super busy. I mean, one of them is in, a, in a, an Avenger or in Guardians of the Galaxy. Kevin Hart is a business of his own. Dwayne Johnson is in a billion movies, so he has zero time. And then Jack Black, I mean, I can't name a ton of movies that he's in lately, but he was just Bowser, so he's everywhere right now. Something tells me that he's super busy, and apparently they want to bring back director Jake Kasdan, so it's going to take a while. Hopefully they make one soon. I really love The Next Level. It's just another fun iteration in this little franchise they have going. Then at number eight, I have 51st Dates, a classic Adam Sandler movie that I believe is rotten on Rotten Tomatoes, but don't listen to it. It's a fun movie. It was filmed there in Hawaii. It's a great rom-com between Adam Sandler and Drew Barry more. They have great chemistry. There are dumb jokes in there. You see Sean Astin in a weird, I guess, fishnet shirt. And it's just a really fun, lighthearted, romantic comedy from the early 2000s. And it is very much a movie set in a Hawaii. They, like, made Hawaii part of the movie's DNA, which I love. Then at number seven is a movie that I saw a ton of props for whenever I went to the ranch, Jurassic world jurassic world i loved i was in the summer in between my freshman and sophomore year of college so i think i was just that right age for this movie to enjoy it i think chris pratt is a really great protagonist in the movie unfortunately the last two movies in this jurassic world franchise were not as good i personally enjoyed dominion for what it was um, Fallen Kingdom, honestly, I hated, so anything was going to be a step up from that. But Dominion, I, I was finishing my final dissertation for my master's program, and literally that movie, I was like, I want to see a dumb movie about dinosaurs destroying things. And Dominion was exactly that, so I really enjoyed it for what it was. I went in with the right mindset for that movie, and I know a lot of people don't share that opinion. A lot of people hate the movie, but I personally like it, and Jurassic World, I think, is the best of the bunch. They have a ton of props laid out at the ranch. I saw Owen Grady's house. I saw the Jurassic World sign. It is really apparent that that movie was filmed at Kualoa Ranch, and uh, 
yeah, it was just a lot of fun to see. But yeah, unfortunately, the last two movies in the Jurassic World franchise couldn't live up to the quality, in my opinion, of the first Jurassic World movie, uh, but nothing can take away from my enjoyment of that first film. At number six, I actually have Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, the first movie in the like Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jumanji movies. And this movie, in my opinion, is a classic. It's one of those movies that, you know, didn't break any box office records the weekend that it came out, but it just had legs the entire time that it was out in theaters, ended up making just shy of a billion dollars, and what I love about the movie is it had Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, all those guys playing against type. You know, you have an idea for how Dwayne Johnson, Jack Black, all those guys are going to act in a movie, but they made a point through clever writing to completely subvert those expectations and have them be playing totally different people than what they typically do. You know, you have the Kevin Hart, Dwayne Johnson flair in there, but for the most part, they are playing different characters. I really love that first movie and the second one. I would recommend them both to anyone. Then I have to admit at number five, I kind of cheated a little bit because it's not a movie. It is a season of a TV show and that TV show is The White Lotus season one. Man, I just love The White Lotus. It took me a while to get on that train. I know not everyone loves that show as much as I do, but for me, I binged the show and I just couldn't help being completely entrenched with these people's stories. Like, yeah, I know it's a bunch of rich people going to a resort, but it focuses on the staff as well and just all of the different themes between the rich versus the poor, power dynamics, both in the money sort of sort of sense, but also in relationships. And man, it is just really incredible writing there by Mike White. I personally love season two more, but season one, I started restarting on um, the seven hour plane ride it took to get back from Hawaii <laughs> and it holds up extremely well, extremely well acted, well written, well shot and it is Hawaii through and through. It was actually shot at the Four Seasons over in Maui which I haven't been to, I don't have that kind of money, uh, but I couldn't stop thinking of the White Lotus while I was there in Hawaii. At number four, we have a comedy classic, Tropic Thunder, a movie that probably could not get made the same way that it did today, but it's an incredible comedy that holds up remarkably well, considering uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s role in the movie that I think would upset a lot of people today, but for whatever reason, this movie did a good job of not being like, incredibly offensive <laughs> considering his character uh a amazing performance by him i believe he was nominated for an academy award uh ben stiller actually directed wrote and starred in this movie people don't talk about him as a director enough he is a really good director and he did an amazing job with this movie and then i just now thinking about this jack black is in this movie too i guess jack black just really likes going to hawaii uh whenever he shoots movies but then again who wouldn't but this movie is riddled with great supporting roles too from people like danny mcbride steve coogan matthew mcconaughey tom cruise is amazing in this but yeah believe it or not tropic thunder was filmed partially in hawaii one of my favorite comedies of all time and number four on this list number three we have another comedy and this is forgetting sarah marshall a movie written by jason and Siegel that has stood the test of time never fails to make me laugh one of my favorite comedies ever it has a Dracula themed musical in there that Jason Siegel was actually writing at the time Kirsten Bell is great in a supporting role we got introduced to Russell Brand's character Aldous Horn Aldous Aldous something. Aldous Snow. Aldous Snow. We got introduced to Aldous Snow, who would later be featured and get him to the Greek. And of course, who could forget Mila Kunis, the love interest in this film. Uh, I think they filmed like all of this movie in Hawaii, or, or at least all of the Hawaii scenes in Hawaii. Uh, it's another film similar to 50 First Dates, where it is Hawaiian through and through, where they make that state sort of a character in the movie, which I really appreciate and definitely gets it some extra bonus points on this list. It's an insanely quotable movie if you haven't seen it before. It, I mean, if you haven't seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall, make sure that you do. Jason Siegel is just such a great leading man. He did an incredible job writing this movie. It's from 2008, but I feel like it could have come out yesterday and it still holds up incredibly well. All time classics are at my one and two spot. And number two is actually going to be 
Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark, I mean, what is there to say? It's one of the best movies ever made. It's on my 100 movie marathon list. Uh, it's way down the line for me. Um, but yeah, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Harrison Ford in the lead role there as Indiana Jones. How we got introduced to this character was perfect. That opening scene is absolutely stunning. So many incredible action set pieces. It took me a long time to actually sit down and watch this movie. I don't think I actually watched it until I was like 22, 23. But man, am I happy that I did because I've seen every Indiana Jones since then. The original trilogy is fantastic. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I think it's a bad rap. I don't I don't think it's as bad as people say it's not nearly as good as the original trilogy but i don't think it's as bad as people say it is um the latest movie was very disappointing for me i thought it was just meh but you cannot take away from the quality of that first raiders of the lost ark filmed on hawaii number two on this list but number one is one that you probably could have guessed whenever i brought up kualo ranch and jurassic world number one is jurassic park and uh, it's number one for a lot of reasons. One, I mean, it's just generally my favorite movie on this list. It's an incredible trailblazing movie for visual effects. I mean, whenever you see the effects of the T-Rex or really any of the dinosaurs in this movie, it doesn't feel like it was made 30 years ago but it was. It's Steven Spielberg at his height. And it really brought dinosaurs to life and it showed everyone what you could do with visual effects whenever they're done right. Very tense movie, if you haven't seen it before, you know, you're just constantly rooting for our main characters and the two kids the entire time. We even got Newman from Seinfeld in this movie, as well as an early performance from Samuel L. Jackson one year before Pulp Fiction skyrocketed his star level. And a fun fact that I learned on my Kualo ranch tour is that it was primarily shot in Kauai, but they moved filming over to Kualoa Ranch on Oahu for 1% of the movie because a typhoon or a tsunami hit Kauai and actually it was one of the worst storms in recorded history for the island. I think the number that they told us on the on the tour was like two billion dollars worth of repairs so it was a significant significant storm uh, so not a lot of it was filmed on Kualoa Ranch but that movie shooting there really brought other movies and TV shows onto the ranch and skyrocketed that ranch to popularity among movie studios. And also all of the rain there because of the storm that was going on, all the rain in the movie is real. I never knew that until now. That's absolutely amazing. Jurassic Park, what is there to say? It's an incredible movie. If you have not seen Jurassic Park, please watch it. Last time I checked, it was on Netflix. I don't know if it's on there now, but it's gotta be on a streaming network somewhere. You're doing yourself no favors if you don't watch it. Watch Jurassic Park. I shouldn't be the one to tell you that. Watch Jurassic Park if you haven't. But anyway, that is my top 10 list for movie slash, I guess, a TV show filmed in Hawaii. What's your favorite movie on this list? Is there anything that I missed here that you love so much? Let me know down in the comments. Be sure to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. Bye guys.